turn to what is your personal anti-aging protocol? So, so what is it you do in terms of exercise and diet? Right. So uh, what do I do? Well, I, I do strength training, resistance training, weightlifting has a number of different names. Um, I am an, av uh, uh, an advocate of the high intensity school of resistance training, which means it's basically um, brief and infrequent, but very intense training. So I, I train twice a week and um, my workouts last me under 25 minutes, um, but the, the, the workouts are very intense. Um, you, you feel uh, pretty wrecked when you've, after you've gone through one. So that's, that's my exercise. My that's, that is my intense exercise on my off training days. I do light exercise like walking, um, in terms of food, I eat real whole food. Um, so this, this is an important distinction that I think most, most people are maybe not aware of ultra processed food is the, is the food that comes in boxes and bags and sold in the middle aisles of the supermarket has, has colorful labels and brand names, all the heavily advertised stuff that big food companies make and want you to buy real whole foods are the meat, fish, eggs, dairy, fruits, and vegetables that are, um, sold around the outside perimeters of the supermarket. Those are what you want to eat, not the ultra processed foods. So I don't eat ultra processed foods. I also eat very low carb, a uh, few carbs here and there. Most days, pretty much next to zero. Um, that's another thing. Then um, I also practice intermittent fasting, um, which is, uh, as I'm sure you know, is just going without food for a certain period of time. So there are various protocols of intermittent fasting. I'm more likely to do something like a, a 16 hour fasting, eight hour uh, eating window. I don't do that every day, but um, I do it fairly often. Um, so th those are, those are, those are my main anti-aging mm -hmm. protocols. Do you take any supplements? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, and so um, the, the ones that I would consider um, pretty much, well, obligatory, at least for me and for many, you know, many people can use these. One is magnesium. So magnesium is uh, very important. And the reason why supplementation is so often necessary is because uh, much of the magnesium in our food it, uh, it is no longer there as, as compared to what it was 50 or 100 years ago. So it's important to get plenty of magnesium. There are also a number of conditions um, that result in wasting of magnesium. For example, drinking coffee, tea, or alcohol results in uh, losses of magnesium. And so for all these reasons, many, many people, at least in the United States, are magnesium deficient. Um, another thing I take is vitamin D. Um, vitamin D uh, is made in our skin as a result of being in, in the sun. But of course, people don't have, um, you know, year round sun access. There's, there are things like the winter and living up north and so on. So many, many people could um, use some vitamin D. Um, so, you know, I, I take a few other things, N-acetylcysteine, for example, um, so yeah, so I do take supplements and, and the, you know, those are a few examples of what I take. So I saw that you had nicotinamide on your list. Do you take nicotinamide and, and why, why nicotinamide? Um, I, I have actually have been trying it again lately. Um, so, you know, you know, you, you're probably aware of, uh, NAD plus and, uh, and its role in aging. So there are many scientists like, for example, David Sinclair, who believe this is very crucial in, uh, in aging that NAD plus gets uh, uh, depleted as, as we get older. So NAD plus is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. So by taking nicotinamide, you would presumably be replenishing your NAD plus the many of these um, there are many people out there who advocates uh, nicotinamide riboside, which is a 
basically a special form of nicotinamide. The nicotinamide, by the way, for everybody listening, is just a form of vitamin B3. Um, but all the research I've seen indicates that just plain old nicotinamide um, would increase um, NAD plus just as much as nicotinamide riboside at a fraction of the cost. Um, unfortunately for me, taking uh, nicotinamide doesn't seem to do anything that I can tell physically, um, but uh, I'm always interested in trying out these sorts of things. Your, do you do anything for your skin? Because your skin looks like really good for a person of your age. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything special? Um, no, no, I, I don't. The, the, the only one thing is I don't use soap on it. I don't use soap on my face. Um, so oh, that that's about it. Maybe I was just uh, gifted with decent skin or something like that. It's all, all that good, clean living that I do. Okay, so um, thank you so much. Uh, for your, you've been very generous with your time today. So can you tell people where they can find out uh, some more about you and uh, your work? Uh, sure. So my website is roguehealthandfitness.com. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also very active on Twitter. And my handle on Twitter is mangan150. Right. And, and you've written a number of books, right, uh, including the Iron Book, but there were some other books as well. Yeah, yes, I, I have. I, I, um, I started out writing about chronic fatigue because that was the problem that I had. And, uh, and then I kept going. I've written a, a book about aging called Stop the Clock. Um, I Dumping Iron, of course. Um, I wrote a book about supplements and, uh, and I wrote a book about strength training as well. Okay, great. So thank you very much and uh, great talking to you.